All right, good afternoon, everyone. We'll get started with Luis Severino. We have mics on each side, so if you could just wait for the microphone. First question for Luis. Ken? Luis, as you're preparing for tomorrow, as you're pitching tomorrow, do you think at all about the fact that Cole is pitching for them and he has been so dominant for months now? Oh, yeah, of course, you know, but, you know, I don't need to to go out there and strike out 300 guys or win 20 games. I just need to go out there and be, you know, match his stuff tomorrow or be better than him just tomorrow. I don't need to, you know, to do more than that. Barry in the front. Hi, Luis. Uh, as you're progressing here, how many pitches do you think you're you're projected to throw tomorrow, and how far into the game would would, would you like to go? I mean, I wish I can get the whole whole game, you know, get out there. But I don't know how many pitches are going. But I just know that any amount of pitches that they give me, I uh, uh, I going out there and, and get the the most of it. You know, uh, make good pitches and and try to to get hit us out. Yeah, I mean, I think the last time I threw like 88 or something pitches, so I think I could go 100 or something. A few more for Luis. Eric. Luis, when you've had some tough playoffs starts before, you've talked about being a little too hyped up, a little too amped up. How do you keep that from happening tomorrow? I mean, you know, uh, this is not the first time, uh, you know, me in the playoffs. Uh, I had a couple of games. I think I had a lot of a couple of experience, you know, games. Uh, it's just, you know, I'm going to go out there and have fun. You know, uh, a lot of stuff happened in the past. I don't have to worry about that. I just I, I need to worry about tomorrow, you know, and, and make good pitches and, and, and make hit us out. Marley. Luis, what did you learn from watching what Paxton and Tanaka did in the first two games? I think... Uh, you know, Massa and, and Paxton did a good job, you know, uh, uh, getting hit us out and, and keeping the ball in the ground and inside the park. You know, I think uh, that is the main thing for a team like that, that can, that can have a lot of power, you know, and, and just, you know, uh, look at pitches, uh, throw good pitches and try to get a lot of ground balls. Mark on the right. <clears throat> Luis, I know you're not hitting against Garrett Cole over here on your right. I know you're not hitting against Garrett Cole, but knowing that he's on the other side, knowing how well he's pitched this year, does that give you any less margin for error, knowing that it's a good chance he's going to go out there and pitch a, a really good game? Uh, like I said earlier, you know, uh, I don't need to go out there and strike out 15 people. I just need to go out there and, and throw a good game. Even if somebody else uh, was pitching yesterday, ah, sorry, tomorrow, <laughs> uh, I was going to go out there and try to, you know, to bring my A game out there. You know, it doesn't matter who's pitching. I'm going to, I, I'm going to try to go out there and, and win the game for the Yankees. John. Luis, you hate to head to the airport after uh, a walk-off like that, but taking one in Houston, which you guys weren't able to do two years ago, how big is that coming home? I think we played two good games out there. You know, uh, they won the last the last one, but, you know, uh, the past series, we didn't win even one game out there. So, that's mean that, that we had a great team. We had a better team than that year. You know, I think we got a great, better pitching staff than that year, too. So I think we got that it's necessary to go out there and win. Ron, down here in the front. Being a starting pitcher, Luis, does it bother you at all the way the game has changed in the last few years with strong bullpens and you see someone like Paxton leave in the third inning last night? Uh, for me, it bothered me a little bit because I, I'm a guy that wants to be out there, you know, but... I understand it, you know. Uh, we have guys out there that that can uh, get out of uh, any situation, you know. Uh, and you know, and if Boom does something like that to me, you know, I would talk to him, but I would understand it. Brendan, Luis, we asked you a couple questions about facing or opposing Garrett Cole, but does the opposing starting pitcher ever really factor in your mind, whether it's Garrett Cole, whether it's somebody else? Does that ever factor into your preparation or what you do? No, for me, like I said, it doesn't matter. Uh, even like if somebody else is pitching, you know, I want to go out there and, and, and get zeros to my team. You know, it doesn't matter if it's 
Berlande, Core, or Grinky. I want to go out there and give my best. Right here in the front. Luis, can you talk about the passion that this team brings to the game? Uh, for me, I've been, you know, a, a couple of good teams uh, since I got here in 2015. And for me, this is the more excited team that I've been. Uh, had a great mix with veteran guys and young guys. Everybody here is so respectful with each other. I think, you know, uh, we bring joy, you know, to the fans here in New York. And, and, and every time we go out there, uh, we're going to get 100%. Mark. Luis, this is your this is your third year pitching in the playoffs. Has it gotten easier for you to to keep yourself under control? And have you what have you learned the first two years that you think helps you going into this year? Uh, what I learned is that uh, you know sometimes you have to block everything outside. You know, uh, worry about the hitters and not worry about the noise that the fans and, and and anything else. You have to worry about you know making good pitches and you you will go out there and have a good game. Uh, uh, I mean, if you prepare good, you know, like you say, this is uh, this is not my first time in the playoffs. So you know, it's getting better, better, and better every time I go out there. Uh, and you know, my first time, you know, I wasn't that good, but every time I I, I get to the ball in the playoffs, it's getting better and better. Marley. Luis, in Minnesota, we had talked about your last performance not being very good last year in the playoffs. Did performing so well in Minnesota give you renewed confidence of what you can do against a team like the Astros? I mean, I always have confidence in myself. It doesn't matter what happened, you know, the year before or the day before. You know, it's always, you know, the next day what matters. You know, it doesn't matter what happened in the past. And, uh, you know, that game uh, to give me the same confidence I always have, you know. Uh, to go out there and compete for my team. Eric? Luis, what do you remember about the atmosphere in this stadium from the 2017 ALCS against the Astros? Uh, it was great, like, like always, you know, uh, this, uh, those fans here, you know, bring everything, you know, to, to, to the game, you know, and it's not the same, you know, when, when you play at home, you know, all those fans give you all the energy It'll make you go out there and, and, and compete and, and, and get a win. Any last ones for Luis? All right, thanks for coming in.